Hello, my friends. I want to tell you about something Iraqis are doing. So I've been making this series on TikTok called Iraqis Are Awesome. Ancient Mesopotamian clay and a reed from the Tigris. Basal, Turshi, Hamot, Khubis. It tastes like civilization. If they say, inshallah, it means they're probably not coming, but they don't want to hurt your feelings. Chippis, Kleenis, BM. Hele, Hele, Hele. Bibiti. Timmen. Timmen. Lesh Drabatni Bori. They're basically little snippets about Iraqi culture, cool things that you may not know about. Iraqis stretch their words out a little, makes it easier for us to learn. Water on the bottom, tea on the top, or just dip your finger. El Cajon outside of San Diego. Masalem, Masalem. Hello. It's what a basal, tomato, shijar, bait and john. Yeah, another reason you should be friends with Iraqis. I do it because I want the world to know more about Iraqis. And I made a special one today. Here it is. Iraqis are awesome, part 27. Since before the pandemic, Iraqis have been peacefully protesting. They're asking for basic things like job opportunities, responsible government instead of violence all the time, not to be pushed around by countries like mine. As a result, they've been openly killed, kidnapped, women and men alike, horrific things. But they still show up. And I think that's crazy brave. I really admire them for that kind of courage. People ask me a lot, why do I talk about Iraqis so much? And the answer is because I love them. But I love them because, well, they were very good to me when I was a lonely relief worker in Iraq years ago. But also, I, I had the opportunity to know them. They're so complex and emotional and funny. And I just think if the world knew them better, maybe somehow they would suffer less in the future. That's all. I want to ask you who's watching now for, for a small favor. Iraqis have trouble believing that the world cares what happens to them. And I know it's hard to empathize with everything that's going on around us because there's so much. Plus, Iraqis are a world away, there's a language barrier, it's hard. But I know that there's a lot of Iraqis all over the world, but they're also all over the internet. Many speak English. I know it would mean a lot to them if you just see what they're doing and offer a word of encouragement. Not just in this video, but in the future. The kids out there were babies when the US invaded. M many of them were not even born yet. The environment that they've grown up in has been unstable and violent, and yet they're choosing hope and they're not choosing violence. They're simply asking for a society that works for everyone in peaceful ways. I think that's pretty awesome. So, the Iraqis, and Shufkum, Hebkum, and Kulna Wiyakum.